everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the Daily Sheeple.com's new shot. Tin foil hat alert, my friends. That's right, and in a good way, because it's almost like realistic tin foil hattery. The Independent is uh, reporting that NASA is offering six figure salaries for new <clears throat> planetary protection officers. That's right. You know what their job is? To defend the Earth from aliens. Yes, yes, yes. Where can I sign up? First of all, six-figure job to defend Earth from aliens? Oh, my gracious. This is great. It says NASA is hiring someone who can defend Earth from alien contamination. The full-time role of planetary protection officer will involve... Are you ready for this? Ensuring that humans in space do not contaminate planets and moons, as well as ensuring that alien matter does not infect Earth. The six-figure salary is as much as $187,000 a year plus benefits. Where do I sign up? The job post reads this. It says, Planetary protection is concerned with the avoidance of organic constituent and biological contamination in human and robotic space exploration. NASA maintains policies for planetary protection applicable to all spaceflight missions that may intentionally or unintentionally carry Earth organisms and organic constituents to the planets or other solar system bodies, and many mission employing uh, spacecraft, which are intended to return to Earth and its biosphere with samples from extraterrestrial targets of exploration. Now, it's a three-year position, folks, so it's not exactly um, a career type of thing, right? Maybe it is, who knows? It does have a chance to extend to five years, and um, this was created after the U.S. signed the Out- Outer Space Treaty of 1967, vowing to, quote, pursue studies of outer space and conduct exploration of these of them so th- to avoid their harmful contamination and also adverse changes uh, in our environment here on Earth, resulting from the introduction of extraterrestrial matter. And uh, all I can tell you is this, folks, is, just human beings going out into space is already contaminating the rest of the universe. We need to really think about how far we go and what we do because, you know, humanity is kind of like a virus in a way. We go out there and we're just going to spread our crap all over the rest of the universe. Uh, not, not so good. We don't exactly have a good track record here at home, by the way. You know, it might be a good idea, methinks, if instead of putting all this money and all these resources towards space exploration, which, you know, okay, uh, some things I consider of value, like, for example, studying the sun, putting satellites up in space that can take a good look at the sun, understand the solar cycle, understand how it affects planet Earth. These kind of things are beneficial, helps us predict the weather a little bit better, helps us understand the effects on crops, the effects on electronics, all of this kind of stuff, definitely beneficial in that regard. But a trip to Mars? Why? What the hell are we doing? And why the urgency? You know, all these visionaries and leading scientists are telling us, oh, we must do it because, you know, the Earth isn't going to go on forever and there's going to be a problem. Let me tell you something. If anything happens, um, chances are, Whatever happens to Earth is going to happen to Mars. We're in that close proximity. I mean, vi- uh, meteor aside, say a meteor hits it, uh, the Earth and well, whatever. Okay, that may be. But everything else, pretty much, if it happens to Earth, it's going to happen to Mars cosmically. So why would we go ahead and do that? I don't know. Secondly, with all the advancements in quantum physics and science, here pretty soon we can walk through a door a portal, a gateway, and go anywhere we want in the universe. Hell, we can probably become uh, multi-dimensional beings that can go to different dimensions of existence. I mean, this is where we're at. I mean, this is how crazy things are. So for us to focus on things like going to Mars and a rocket ship just seems to me to be a little bit asinine and a huge waste of resources. I mean, it's just that simple. Why can't we get our act straight here on planet Earth? And then, and then... When we have our shite together, then perhaps we can go out and do these things and just blow money uh, and resources on this kind of stuff when, you know, we have all these other problems licked. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. 
Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day. 